So I thought I'd make a video about another favourite calculator of mine, the Casio FX 7000G. This was on the market from 1985 to 1988 and was the world's first graphing calculator. So physically it's very light and slim, and it's only 150 grams. Uh, it has a plastic case and an aluminum front and back plates. There's a physical power switch on its left hand side. And it has uh, side grooves in its plastic case for added grip. The calculator requires a trio of 3 volt coin cell batteries that last around 120 hours of use and require unscrewing the back plate for installation. It also has a 96 by 64 dot matrix display and can display uh, 8 lines of characters. So like many Casio calculators, the 7000G has a number of different modes. Uh, so we'll start in run mode, uh, so I hit one, uh, mode 1, uh, and we can kind of key in a formula like 2 plus 3 times 4 and hit EXE to see the result. Uh, so obviously the calculator supports full op operator precedence. Once we have a result, we can use the answer key to reference it in another formula. So if I type 2 times answer, and then execute, uh, we get the previous result doubled. And you can also continue calculations, so if I now type plus 1, uh, the previous result is substituted immediately uh, into the first number within the new formula. The calculator provides all the usual scientific uh, operations, uh, for example, uh, trigonometric, uh, power, root, uh, hyperbolic, and, and so on. Uh, you can also assign equations to single character variables uh, using the right arrow operator. So if I hit answer, I can assign that to uh, x. And then once I have that, I can use x in, as a variable within equations. So now we'll move on to the graphing capabilities. Uh, so to create a basic graph, uh, you just hit the graph key uh, and then enter a function name. So maybe we'll start with hyperbolic sign and then hit XE. You can then add um, other uh, functions onto the graph. So let's add a hyperbolic cosine. And the calculator also supports single and paired variables, statistical line or bar charts. So the 7000G also supports a very concise tokenized programming language. Uh, the calculator only has 422 bytes of programming mem memory, uh, but you can pack a surprising amount of functionality into that space. Uh, so to edit a program, I'll hit uh, mode 2, uh, and then I'll select my programming space zero. So I've actually already uh, created a simple program to calculate the Fibonacci series. So as a refresher, Fibonacci series starts with zero and one, uh, and then in the next number is the series, uh, and the series is the sum of the previous two. Uh, so this program starts by assigning zero and one into variables a and b, uh, the triangle symbol at the end of uh, some lines of code tells the calculator to print out the result. And then the program defines a label called 1 for a loop and assigns the next number in the series into C and prints it. The program then pulls P, uh, B down into A and C into B and ends with a conditional test. So if the number just printed out was less than 100, we'll loop back uh, to label 1 and calculate the next number in the series. Uh, the version of the right arrow used for uh, conditional evaluation is, slight, is different from the one used for variable assignment. So if we hit mode 1 uh, to switch back to run mode, uh, then we can type uh, program 0 and execute and we can uh, hit uh, XE to move through all the next numbers in the Fibonacci. Uh, the, 
Uh, the 7000 G's tokenized programming language is very compact, uh, but it's surprisingly powerful, um, and it's quite nice to have an eight-line text display uh, to edit programs. The calculator also supports functions in graph mode, so you can programmatically create some quite complex charts. So that's a quick demo of some of the 7000 G's features. Uh, supports a lot of other functionality, uh, various statistical functions, a number of types of regression modeling, and binary, um, octal, and hex calculations. So even by modern day standards, it's a pretty fully featured scientific calculator. And I think over all the 7000G is a very impressive calculator for its time. Uh, the only things that somewhat constrained it uh, were its very small amount of RAM. Um, and its lack of persistent storage and power input. So once your batteries die after around 120 hours of use, you would need to re-enter any programs you had saved, for example. But partly because it used uh, the small coin cell batteries, Casio was able to make it very thin and uh, light uh, compared to modern graphing calculators uh, that often take double A's. Uh, the 7000G was clearly very influential, establishing the form factor and user experience patterns for graphing calculators that are still in use today. And you can pick these up surprisingly cheaply on eBay. Uh, even ones in good condition run uh, for even less than $30. And like many other Casio calculators and pocket computers from the 80s, I find the 7000G aesthetically quite beautiful, and I'm really quite fond of this one. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful.